Today on Cravings Food Adventures, we're making Moroccan cigars. This delightful little cylinder of meat is wrapped in a crispy spring roll pastry. Mmm. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and as part of a very special taste made collaboration for Father's Day, I'm going to serve this smoking hot snack to my father or my children's father for Father's Day. But that's not all, please do stay tuned till the end of the video where I'm going to have links to all of the delicious recipes made by my YouTube friends from all over the world. We're going to start with Anya's kitchen with her maple and nut baguettes. And we've got chicken cheese balls coming from Sharmila's kitchen. We also have the low carb planner that's going to give us a pulled pork sandwich. And for some chili cheese fries on the side, the kitchen which has you covered with a delicious recipe. And next we have rookie with a cookie with her beef stew. And last but not least, something sweet for my friend down under. Creative Cakes by Sharon has her inside surprise Father's Day cake. Please do stay tuned for all of these amazing recipes. Let's start by talking about the ingredients. My spring roll wrappers come frozen, so I've defrosted these. And now I'm gonna work on the filling. Now I'm using mutton for my filling, but you can use anything that you like. Lamb, beef, chicken, all of these work really well. We're going to flavor the filling really well because we want that cigar to be super, super delicious. In my bowl, I've got two pounds of ground meat and I'm gonna add some salt and some black pepper. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of roasted cumin, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of pomegranate molasses that I'm just going to pour in. I've got about half a cup of red onion that I've chopped really fine, as well as two spring onions that I've chopped. I'm gonna use the bulb as well as the leaves. I'm gonna follow that with half a cup of chopped parsley, and a quarter cup of chopped mint. I'm also going to add three cloves of garlic that I'm gonna crush right into the mixture. I'm gonna give that a good mix and then I'm also going to add a whole egg and I'm gonna mix it up as well. I'm gonna take my meat mixture and I'm going to pour it into my food processor and I'm gonna process it for a few minutes till my mixture is really nice and soft. Now with my kebabs or any kind of filling that I make, I always test a little bit by frying it just to taste for salt. You always wanna make sure that you have enough salt and spices in your mixture because once you cook it, it's too late. Now as it turns out, my mixture did have a little less salt. So I went ahead and added some salt into my mixture and you can see the consistency that you're looking for. And now I'm ready to smoke this joint and look what I'm going to do with a regular disposable icing bag. I'm going to snip the end off and I'm going to insert a large icing tip and I'm going to fill it with my meat mixture. This is going to ensure that my cigars have that beautiful cylindrical shape. And next I'm ready to work on the spring roll wrappers. They've already been defrosted and I'm going to take them apart very gently. I'm using large spring roll wrappers. These are about eight by eight inches because I want really long cigars. I'm going to lay one sheet down on my board and I'm going to brush it with an egg that I've beaten. I'm going to pipe my mixture right on top of my wrapper, leaving a little bit at the top and a little bit on either side. I'm going to fold it in from the top and fold them in on themselves on the inside and then I'm just going to roll it just like a cigar. Now, you must remember to seal the ends really tightly, otherwise the cigar can open up in the hot oil when we fry it later. I'm gonna just keep doing these till I have enough cigars and then we're ready to fry them. My oil is really nice and hot and I got about 20 to 25 cigars out of my two pounds of meat. So I'm going to insert them into the hot oil and they will get nice and crispy. Now if you prefer to bake these, you can brush them with olive oil and bake them in your oven. 
If I'm making a large batch of these and I'm a bit rushed or I'm not sure if I've had enough cooking time, I will fry them and then insert them in the oven later to make sure that the meat is cooked all the way through. You can also make these delicious appetizers ahead and you can freeze them. This is perfect for any occasion, but especially Father's Day when you want to offer that special man in your life a Moroccan so he can sit by the TV and enjoy his smoking hot Moroccan cigars. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I want to wish my father a very happy Father's Day, as well as my children's father, my father-in-law, my brother, and all of the other great fathers that I know and love. And I also want you to stay tuned till the end of this video because I've got lots of really exciting recipes coming up from all of my other YouTube friends. So until I see you again, do take care. Happy Father's Day, everyone.